let's talk about loan disclosures and what you're about to receive. So in a year about to receive sometime in the next, whether it's a few business hours or the next 24 to 48 hours, you're about to receive an email from our corporate compliance department. So our, our disclosure department. So in other words, it's not coming from myself or any one of my teammates. It's coming from somebody at corporate. And that's that's okay. That's where it's supposed to come from. But what it is, is you'll get your loan package. It'll be a whole bunch of pages that you'll need to review, sign, you know, click, 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 sign, whatever it is you need to do. But the thing I want to point out is you'll receive what's called a LE, a loan estimate. So it's going to call it a, an LE, a loan estimate. And what I want to stress to you is that this LE, the intent is to hopefully provide some understanding of what it is uh, uh, that you're going to be getting for terms of rate, payment, and cost. The reality is it's not going to be as accurate as what we've already given you. So my team and I, we've already provided you something that we call a loan summary. So a loan summary worksheet that's that just breaks down the cost and structure and payment and rate and all that other stuff. That's what I personally consider the mortgage Bible for your loan. So in other words, if there's ever a question, if there's ever something that comes up that, hey, what is this or what is that? What's the rate? What's the cost? What's the, the payment? I'm going to use the loan summary worksheet that my team and I have created for you. The loan estimate that's going to come in this loan package is not necessarily accurate. And here's why. We lend all over the country. Every state has unique laws for what you can and will and show and all this other stuff. Not to mention, we don't want to ever be accused of giving you some loan numbers just to have the bait and switch. So we will always round up. And that's what the states want us to do as well. That's what the compliance department wants us to do. They want us to over disclose. So if a fee that we think could be X, maybe it's in this range, it will absolutely go to the high side. In some instances, we may even juice it up a little bit more because we're that uncertain what it could be because there are, I'm making this number up, there could be as many as 15 different vendors on the actual like final closing disclosure. So you got a title company, appraisal, a credit report, tax cert, flood cert. You got all these different fees and they can vary. So we do try to go to the side of being conservative, but the, con the compliance department goes to the point of being like obnoxious <laughs> for what they estimate things to be. And even if fees aren't going to be there, let's say certain fees have been discussed where they're going to be waived or they're unnecessary or something to that extent, the compliance department is still going to show them because if something changes, they want to make sure it was disclosed properly up front to say that these fees could exist or what they will be. And again, I will go back to say, look at the, the one my team sent, the loan summary worksheet. That is the Bible. That's what we do. So later on, before closing, and, and, and by the way, I'm not telling you just to sign something blindly. Go through the loan package. If you have any questions, if you see something correct, and if you're looking at these fees or something on there is not correct, just reach out to us and just ask that question. Maybe the rate's a little higher. Maybe the fees are off. Absolutely. If you need to or want to, please call us. And we should be reaching out to you anyway to review those things in detail. But if you have questions, please bring that up. We want to address them. So at the end, when we're get as we progress through this process and things become known, like your property taxes or your insurance or title fees, all these things that get updated throughout the process at different times. If there's something drastically different, we'll send you an updated loan summary worksheet, the one that my team creates. We will send you an updated version saying, hey, here's what we know now. And even if you change your loan amount or something like that, we can send you updated versions. So at the farther we go down the road, the more accurate that will get. But at the very end, right before closing, you will get what's called a CD, a closing disclosure. The closing disclosure is going to be like the final closing disclosure, picture perfect to the penny accurate. So my team, where I hold them and us accountable, is we will always take the most recent loan summary worksheet that my team and I create, that we send to you, we'll always use that as the comparison for what we're going to use for uh, the CD. So we're going to make sure those are similar in, in there. Certain loan programs, uh, the loan summary worksheet may not come, the LE comes, but we'll certainly get working on that because, again, there's certain things that just uh, a lot of mortgage rules out there. So we'll let you know. But again, just understand that this is not written in stone. The loan estimates probably going to be different or could be, could be different than what you've seen. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know. But we will always make sure we're doing our very, very, very best to give you the most accurate information we're not changing numbers to, to make it look better or worse. We're trying to get you accurate information. So if you have questions, let us know. We will certainly be our do our best to help. And as always, we trust or thank you for your trust and your confidence in working with us. Hope you have a great day and call us with any questions.